Hi everyone, Erica Wachter here with SportsEdge.com. Thank you guys for joining me as I get ready to take my first challenge of a detox cleanse. I've never done one before, but I want to try some and kind of give you tips on how you can stay healthy and detox your body from all the toxins that we do take in daily with our food and we don't even realize it. So I went to the store last night, got all this food. I got about 20 items. I had a few of the things that were on my list already, but it cost me a little bit over $40, so it averages out to around $15 a day. Not too bad when you think you're getting three meals out of the deal. So it's a pretty good thing. And what's great about the cleanse that I'm doing, it's the Dr. Oz three day detox cleanse, is that they already have a list for you. They have all the meals ready to go. And so it keeps it very easy organized. It has the shopping list when you go out. Nice and seamless, no issues there. And um, yeah, so let's just get started. So this morning I already started with my green tea. It's a detox tea that you do in the morning. You just put a little bit of lemon in there. Tastes good. Hopefully it's doing something good for my body and I'm getting ready to make my first meal. So now I'm getting ready to make my breakfast shake and as I talked about, they have a one sheet here. It tells you exactly what you need recipe meal by meal. So for the breakfast drink, you're gonna have one cup water, one tablespoon flaxseed, one cup raspberries, one banana, quarter cup spinach, one tablespoon almond butter and two teaspoons lemon. So I actually just got the lemon juice itself. I already had this at home, so I didn't worry about just getting a new lemon since you're just using the juice. And I opted out not to use the almond butter. I just didn't know if it was necessary necessarily, and it's my first time. We'll know for next time if it will taste better. You can let me know what you try when you guys do this. Now I'm just gonna get ready to mix these things together. I heard this is the best shake of the day, so I'm kind of excited for it. It looks pretty good to me, and we'll let you know in just a few seconds. Give it a whirl. Pretty good. Definitely good. I, I enjoy it. So this is what we'll drink for every morning and I think you can also use your favorite drink as a snack throughout the day if you do get hungry again. So in between meals you're allowed to do one of the shakes again. So, I mean, so far I've only tried the breakfast, but I would definitely choose this for a snack. Okay, so it's been a few hours since breakfast, and I'm feeling okay, although it was hard, I won't lie, I did kind of want some real food in the mix. It was surprisingly uh, very filling, I feel very comfortable, and in between breakfast and lunch, they recommend for you to take probiotics or vitamins, so if you have any multivitamins of your own, make sure you take them in between. Just kind of helps with the flow of everything and really cleansing your body and making it as healthy as it can be. So now we are ready for lunchtime. So as you see right here, I have all my ingredients kind of prepped out. I try to chop them as much as I can. So if you have a food processor, I'm sure that will definitely help you in this case. We're gonna have half of a green apple, a full thing of cucumber, one cup of kale, and also four stalks of celery. And then we also have our uh, almond milk over here. I got the coconut almond milk. You know, it does call for coconut oil, so I figured that's a nice little combination to combine the two. And also pineapple juice, or if you want to get the fruit and chop it up, that's good too, whatever you prefer. So, now it's time to get started. I'm a little nervous for this one, I'm not going to lie, it's a lot of green. The beginning, the morning one was a little bit sweeter, a lot of fruit, so this one should be an interesting taste, and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to blend it up a little more. All right, here's the moment of truth. Definitely green, I'm gonna look at that. Definitely green. It smells very veggie. Probably not that bad, actually. You can definitely taste the green, but the pineapple really adds a nice kind of sweet, so it's kind of, you feel very healthy drinking it, let's just say that. 
it has a nice balance so it doesn't taste too vegetable it kind of has a nice soothing the cucumbers help maintain it and the pineapple really adds a nice little sweetness to it so it's not too bad at all I feel much better now that I'm trying it bon appetit okay so now I'm getting ready to eat my dinner it's been a little bit of a tough afternoon that that afternoon shake well, it didn't taste that bad at first. It was The texture is very weird and it's very chunky in your mouth. Uh, it took me a while to finish that one. I actually couldn't even finish it all. I was very filled from that. So it was very filling. I didn't even have an, a an afternoon snack after that or anything. I just stuck that and I'm eating dinner now. So hopefully this one goes a little bit smoother. As you see below, I have all my ingredients laid out right here. We have some cayenne pepper, the flax seed meal. Uh, lemon, blueberries, mango, avocado, kale, and also coconut water. So this one should hopefully taste a little bit better. Again, I made it through the first day. Okay, so far, my biggest issue was really just kind of wanting to eat food. It's not that I was hungry. I'm just not used to not snacking and not having those chips here and there. So kind of cleansing that, you can definitely feel it. I had a slight headache, but overall not too bad of a day. So hopefully tomorrow goes smoother and I'll let you know how this is right now. Smells a little better this time. Here's the color of what it looks like. Not that green one from earlier. And let's give it a try. Not bad at all. And hopefully I mean it this time. This one, the fruit really helps in my case. I think I prefer the fruits. The, sh the taste is a little bit stronger, so I enjoy that. Hopefully the rest of the cleanse goes well. I really encourage you all to try this too. I'll post all my results, all my information, and I would love to create some sort of dialogue below. So please feel free to comment, feel free to give this a try, and we can all experience this together. Bye. Hi everyone, so I'm back. It's the third night. I finally made it. I'm almost done this cleanse. This is my last drink right here, my dinner drink. I'm actually enjoying it tonight, as you see. <laughs> Anyway, it's a little bit easier to drink at night than it was the past couple of days for me. My body's really become accustomed to these foods and I'm enjoying the meals. It's still a little bit hard for me. I, I kind of just miss the aspect of having solid foods and actually having to plate of food in front of me and kind of eating it that way. I know this has a lot of vegetables, a lot of nutrients, a lot of everything, but just having it in liquid form just isn't really my favorite thing. However, three days, absolutely doable. I learned a lot. I feel... A difference in my body from my physical appearance also just to how I feel overall I have a lot more energy you just feel a little bit more awake overall your mind's a little bit more alert I feel like I'm getting less stressed my skin feels better pretty much everything so the benefits of this cleanse is really just they're undeniable so I definitely recommend for anyone to try it I really hope you guys do try it and also put your comments below tell me how this is going for you because I would love to hear and start a discussion uh, I would probably do this for years to come and I'm going to recommend like I said for you all to do it it's really just you, you can do it in three days it's not too hard and your body feels so great afterwards so I'm excited for tomorrow morning because I can actually have a little bit of real food I really enjoy the breakfast shake that I think that will continue into my daily diet it's very simple has a lot of benefits for you so that's something very feasible for me the lunch and dinner Maybe not as frequently, but definitely I've, I've gotten used to them and they're not as bad at all. So I'm really looking forward to trying all these new healthy foods. You kind of, even though you want to go back to your old habits, in a way you, you want to eat better now. You want to eat those fresh fruits and vegetables all the time. Of course it might be a little better with some salad dressing, but you definitely want to incorporate those into your daily diet and definitely just become a better consumer of food so I'm looking forward to that aspect of it and I've already found some good recipes on Pinterest that I was looking at so there's a lot of healthy options out there and I'm really excited so like I said I really hope you guys try this it was a pretty good three days right here gotta finish this off and then I'm pretty much done so thank you guys for checking out the blog I hope you've read below kind of see exactly how I was feeling day by day and I've also listed some tips for you guys when you try this and also the benefits of what I've experienced and what I've noticed in my body. So hope you guys have a great night and I'll talk to you later.